there's still gravitational force between this plane and the Earth. And you also have lift, depending on how you design your plane. Some of your planes might have more lift than others. And this is one of the reasons why some of the planes will travel further. They'll sus be suspended in the air longer because they have more lift. So the engine, which are under the wings, and they actually store gas under the in the wings. So the gas tanks are in the wings of the airplane. And these engines are under the wings. And those engines provide the force called thrust. Right, and that's the force that gets the, uh, gets the plane moving. So you hit the gas pedal, that gets the plane moving. But we don't have any engines on this plane. So you are pretending, you yourself are the engine. You're providing the initial force to get it moving. So this is the force, the original force, to get it moving. Now what is going to counteract that force? So if you throw this plane or this airplane takes off, what for the force that goes opposite of thrust is called in the air it's called drag or air resistance and this is a type of friction so we're going to learn about uh well we're going to learn a little about forces because uh Really, all of science, all sciences are based in physics. Um, so physic, physics principles are everywhere in all sciences. So if we think of, uh, I mean, we can relate this to the, uh, the, obviously the flight of birds. So drag is air resistance. It's a form of friction because the force of friction would be higher. So the friction is something uh, as a force and this is a type of friction drag so this is air resistance and it's a type of friction now in eighth grade you will be working a lot with these forces so we're going to do we're going to actually make mousetrap race cars um, hopefully we'll be back in class in well, January, so next semester. Um, and we will have to think about ways of reducing friction uh, or adding friction if we need to. Um, let's think of like uh, tires in a car. If the tires are completely bald, in other words, they're smooth, there's no tread anymore, it's worn down like my tires all the time. I'm like, I gotta watch the tires because you gotta be careful with that. It's dangerous. If they're bald, they're flat, they're smooth, there's no friction. It can be easy to slide. Hydroplane, like if you get in the water, you just slide in the... Uh, there's no friction. There's nothing to grip to the road. Uh, but if you have full tread pattern and they're not worn, the tires can, they stick, they grip to the road, which is good. So these are the four main forces on an airplane. And your plane, this is so what you have to think about, is a way to keep your plane moving. So you want to increase the thrust as much as you can. In other words, your engine. So you got to throw it with some power. Oh my God. Oh my God. Baseball pitcher. You know? 98 mile an hour, 98 mile an hour fast plane. Right. Not, not like a, like this. That's like I can go anywhere. Needs more thrust. There's no engine in this thing. There's no engine in these. These planes have no engine. So we're gonna, you are the engine. So you got to increase the thrust or increase the lift. Both actually would be better. So how can you increase the lift? Well, if you think of the way the, the planes wings are designed how could you adjust the wings on a plane on your plane to increase the lift 
Is there some things I want you to think about? And I want to see those planes. Work on those planes.